going to be um, a quick video on what I wear on the plane, what I carry on, and why. Um, when I get dressed uh, to, to do my flight, the first thing I do is I put on my long johns. These are merino long johns. Don't know if you can see them, but you know what merino long johns are. And my nice Camino socks and my shoes. Okay? Then I put on my Maccabee skirt. And I'm going to do a video on the Maccabee skirt for you. Then I put on my merino wool long sleeve top. Um, I take my bracelet, which has my paracord on it, just in case I need clothing for anything. After that, and I layer. And this is how I layer when I walk on the Camino in cold weather, too. And then as I need to, I can just peel things off. On top of that shirt, I put on a short sleeve shirt. Just in case it is hot on the airplane, I can go in the bathroom and take this long sleeve shirt off and then I'm fine, but chances are I'm gonna be cold, not hot. Um, on top of that, oops, here he is. On top of that, I put my nice warm cashmere sweater. I get these at Goodwill in the men's department. Men used to wear a lot of cashmere sweaters and you can still find them if you look. Um, it's wonderful. It's very, very lightweight. It's as soft as a bunny rabbit. You can wash them and put them in the dryer in the United States. I wouldn't put it in the dryer in Spain. I did that once and it shrunk up to the size of a five-year-old. But if you're careful with it, you can wash and dry it uh, in the dryer. This one, for me, is an extra, extra large. So I must have put it in the dryer because it's now shrunken down to about the size of a medium. Um, I got one for Joe recently. This is... Uh, this is an extra large, and I actually did wash and dry this one. Um, but, oh, they're just so soft and so warm and so lightweight. I love it. So this is the next thing I put on, because I get cold in those cabins. I don't know why, but I do. Okay, so this is the next thing that's going on. Yeah, I'm toasty one. And then I also, <clears throat> when I'm walking the Camino, and then also um, on the plane, we'll take my very lightweight. This is just a featherweight windbreaker. This particular one is made by Sierra Design. It's a large. This thing is really warm. It blocks every bit of wind. I can wear this over a short sleeve shirt, and I'm pretty darn warm. So even in the coldest of weather, this is how I will dress for the Camino get up in the morning and go. I rarely wear gloves, but I do carry some. Um, if it's super cold, my hat is in here. I may put on a buff. And then as I walk, I'll just start peeling things off. And also on the airplane, I can peel things off. But this saves me having to put it in my backpack. And this means more space for my backpack, a smaller backpack, so I can carry it on. Now, I haven't decided which backpack I'm taking. I did go ahead and order the Breeze which is a top loader, and I love it, but it's a 32 liter, and as you can see, I didn't fill it up at all, and everything I'm taking is in here, so I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep this or sell it. I got a good deal. It was used, even though it's brand new and was still in the bag. It was only, um, I think, $100, Euro, $100, so I may sell it or I may keep it. I still have to decide, but that will be carried on the plane with me, and then I'll take this as my purse. I'll tie up all these... Uh, straps so it's not so bulky. Um, in here I'll put any of these clothes that I take off. I also will put my lunch probably. Um, I try to book flights with stops because I like stops. I like layovers where I can get off the plane, go get some food, go to the bathroom, walk around, get some fresh air. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do this year. It just depends on what kind of tickets I can find. But I'll put my lunch in here and maybe a bottle of water, um, maybe a book to read, but usually I try to sleep on the plane. And then in here, I've got my little rag for cleaning my glasses. I've got an extra mask. This is really important. This is a saline spray, just pure saline spray. I clean my nose out often. I did that before COVID because um, of people's perfume. That would give me a headache. And also because I didn't want to catch cold if people were breathing bad things. Um, I always have an extra pair of glasses with me, so that'll go in here. And so this I would carry on like a purse. Uh, when I first get on the plane and it's empty because I'm wearing all these clothes, I might fold it up and put it inside my backpack. Um, so then I only have one item. But if I carry on my pack and I take this and say this is my purse, usually I don't have any problems. 
So that's what I wear on the airplane. Um, usually I'll have a packet of Kleenex with me also. I don't know where I put that, so I didn't put it in. So that's it. That's what I wear on the plane, and that's how I go. And um, yeah, I hope this helps. Look, I don't look like anybody special. I don't go out and buy brand new clothes for the Camino. I don't think it's necessary. Wear what's in your closet or go to Goodwill. It doesn't have to be expensive to go on the Camino. And during the summer, people say don't take cotton, don't take cotton. But if I'm walking in the summer months, I take lightweight cotton wear because it dries overnight. Or, or if it's hot enough, you can walk with it damp the next morning. You just don't care. So I don't worry too much about that. During the cold weather, I tend to take a lot of um, merino wool and wool items. I've also got a bamboo undershirt that sometimes I take that's very warm. I got it actually in Astorga at the um, sporting goods store there. Don't take a lot of things. If you look at something and you think, do I need that? Then don't take it. Because then if you do need it, you can just buy it there and things are very inexpensive along the route. So okay, so that's what I take on the plane. Thanks for watching.